Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. I share all my paintings with you on YouTube and on our website, dianeanton.com, you can find free downloadable sketches for all the videos to help you make the most of your painting journey. And if you'd like a little bit more, we also have channel memberships with loads of perks for you to enjoy. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. Hi everyone, Diane here. Welcome to my channel. And today we are going to um, have a go at some teddy bears. And um, yeah, I've got a few that I've been, I've been practicing. I've been thinking about this now for a couple of months about the teddy bear thing and how to um, paint these the easiest way so that you get a little bit of whimsy, but not too much. And a little bit of, you know, can a teddy bear be realistic? I don't know, but um, anyway, so this is Teddy with a T on his chest. Um, here's a family of three, mum, dad, and uh, big Ted. And um, then I have tried out a family of four. And this is just, um, what do you call it, uh, printer paper, this is. And uh, so therefore the painting is not very um, easy on there. But uh, I just tried that out to see what the four looked like. Um, this is the four I had traced, and uh, that will be a um, download that you can get, as well as some of the smaller ones as well. And this is this is that um, tracing in my sketchbook. This is a sketchbook I found the other day. I must look this up and see whether this person still makes these. It's a company called Christopher Marbling, and as you can see, there's a date in there and it says uh, 2001, 2001, and this came from Wales. I think I must have been on holiday in Wales and bought that there. This is hand marbled paper. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, and I never, I hadn't ever used it, except I did a couple, I know people like looking at sketchbooks, so I did a couple of sketches in the other end. This is Lou Harbour, that's somewhere in Cornwall. That's a terrible drawing. And this was another one, and that was the seaside, and that's Hearty Ferry again, which I think I did a painting of that the other day for Patreon, and uh, that's a painting of it, not the one I put on Patreon, this is one from years ago. And here's a sketch of um, the outside of a little post office in a place called Wingham which is a lovely little village in Kent near Canterbury. Two unfinished um, parakeets, and that was that. So I switched to the other end of the book, and we're going to do these teddy bears today. And first of all, though, I'm going to do a, a practice bear, a little run, practice run. Um, and there's another one there. We've been bears galore here. Uh, yeah, here are some of my sketches. I did these little sketches in biro because that's all I happened to have to hand at that particular moment. Um, you know, um, ballpoint pen or whatever. Um, and I wanted to mention that because that's actually quite a good um, uh, what do you call it? medium for, for, for drawing with. You can't correct it, so you have to be very direct. And that can be quite illuminating sometimes. And of course, another way of painting very directly um, is to, I um, don't know what you think of these ladies. I think this is going to be another video at some point in the future. Um, another way of painting directly is to use a brush for your painting. So I'm going to try that out. First of all, before we go back to painting the family of four. Um, I've got my Kiritaki set of 48 colours here. I'm giving um, a bit of a trial run. I'm very happy with these paints. They seem to be um, perfectly fine and they're very inexpensive. It's not more than $50 uh, for a set of 48 and you've got all the colours in here. There's a link in the description below if you want to buy a set of these. Very good for beginners. You've got all the proper colours. Um, you know, things like rose madder, carmine, uh, cadmium red, 
cadmium yellow, forest green, I always want to say forest gump, ultramarine, and so on and so forth. All the basic colours are in there, plus a few others, a few iridescent colours like um, gold and silver. And uh, so you've got everything there that you could possibly want to uh, make any colour you need from. And then there's also this these selections of pastels, which is really nice, pastel blues, pastel pinks, skin tones, and so on. Anyway, for this particular bear, um, I'm going to use a mixture here of yellow ochre, and um, this is uh, raw umber deep and black. So those two colors go into this one to make this uh, sludgy color, which I'm going to use fairly fairly dilute. And I'm going to um, practice bears so that you can see how, how, I, how I do them. So um, I, I always start, I've, I've developed this method, start with the ear, the left as you look at it ear, then a fairly broad top to the head, and then just pull the paint down to make a kind of circle, a rough circle. And then for this particular bear, because he's sitting down, you want to just bring his arms out and do a nice circle for his paw. And then the other side, same thing, a nice circle for his paw. And then um, we want to put some feet, so two ovals there in front like that and I I'm planning to paint his sweater in a color but I'm going to just lightly fill in the color for his body like that and then what I did was I grabbed a pen um, these ones don't run too badly. That's a point to Pigma Micron. And just test that to make sure it works. And then um, my plan is always to outline the important parts, so like the ears, and then the head. And then you can do the muzzle any shape. You can do a big round, you can do a flattened round, you can do an oval. And I've been, I've been happily doing nice ovals like that just recently. You can give them big eyes or small eyes. And I've been doing small eyes and a small nose, and then just a nice little light mouth like that. And uh, so that's my, my signature bear that I've been developing. So, you know, this is the thing. I have seriously been working on um, these bears now for a couple of months. And it's, it's great fun, but eventually you'll come up with something that you feel reasonably happy with. You make him sit on something. And then I quite like putting them in a jumper. So you draw the neckline of the jumper and then it's, it's neat because you just put stripes on the arms of the bear like that. And you can give him a T for Teddy on his chest or whatever, you could have B for bear. Let's put it in a nice circle there. And his, his jumper has a kind of waistband with a little bit of ribbing on the bottom because I'm old fashioned. And then I'm going to just Come back in with some blue, I think, because I thought this this dark blue would go over the colour of the bear quite nicely and give a sort of a sludgy blue colour. And don't be too finickety about it, finickety or whatever. Just just paint in some stripes on his arms, and you see that the colour is. I think that's quite pleasant, and it shows through as well. Um, the strokes and things that you've got underneath. And then we'll just colour in his jumper and Ted's your uncle, so to speak. 
put a little bit of blue on the neckline like that as well. So there he is. There, number one. And oh yes, if you want, you can put pads on his feet because most bears have them. You can put them with toes if you want, or you can just kind of indicate them like that. So there we are. And if you want to turn it into a girl, which we don't because he's got a blue jumper on, you just put little pink cheeks on there. So that's bear number one. And now we're going to move on to the family of four. Okay, so we're done with uh, our little teddy bear here. And I'm just going to start now with the same color. Um, and I'm just going to start painting daddy, daddy bear here who uh, we drew previously, and uh, I've got the sketch of that ready for you to download for free if you pop along to dianeanton.com. You can get that from there for nothing, or if you want to give us a little donation towards running the channel, then that's where you can do that too. So he is wearing a jacket and we can just see his paws and his legs down here underneath his jacket at the back of his back of his body there and just paint over the end of his foot and his other foot oops no hang on a second that's uh That's um, that's a shared foot. We have that's that's his his little boy's foot. His other foot is behind him. Yes, that's fine. I drew this the other day and I've kind of lost track of what I did. So there we are. That's okay. Just paint round their noses, paint their tummies, and their feet. That's the first two boys. And I might just put a little tiny dash of pink in here for the little girl. I think I'll say she's just got a kind of what do you call that? I think an apron kind of thing on with her legs underneath, as you do. And then mum here. I'm using a size um, seven round watercolor brush for this. It's about the right size, you don't need anything bigger or smaller. And just do her paw and her leg. There we are. That's that. Then the next step is probably to put in their features first. Or shall I colour in their clothes? Oh no, I don't think so. I think I'll put their, do their lines, do the lines. around the head, around the ear. You can give him some furry texture using the pen if you like, or if you prefer, you can keep the lines clean. There we are. And then he's got a jacket on, so we might want to bring the color down there a little bit. Jacket with a round neck. And then lovely big feet. And then little boy. So this pen is a Pigma Micron 0.2 
millimeter nib and uh, so we do his foot, his paw, his tummy, his other foot. There we are, and now his sister. Big sister, I suppose. And I've given her a slightly different shaped nose. But you can see the family resemblance because they all have um, little eyes. And her other foot is there. There we are. And finally, mum. Looking a little bit concerned. And she's got a nice little cardigan on with a Neckline with blanket stitch around it. Button, button, button. There's her paw. And her big puddies. Well, there we are. And now we need to colour in their clothes. And uh, I thought on this one I would give Daddy a nice blue jacket. And don't be too, you know, worried about how you colour that in. Just, just colour it in. And then little Ted. I'm going to do the same as what I did before on the other one and give it a background colour. So for example, maybe we might go for a sort of greenish tone. And when that's dry, we'll put some stripes over the top. Whoops, I missed out one of his puddies, didn't I? His hand there. And the little girl, I think pretty reasonable that she should have a pink dress, don't you think? Sort of soft pink. Like that. The colours here are really very nice. They, they mix very nicely together. Give you some lovely shades. And Mum is wearing a nice soft blue cardigan there. Just have to wait for that to dry before we do the stripes. And um, where's my pen? There we are. Yep. Oops, is that the right one? That's 0.5. It's 0.2. And I'm going to do the little noses in this um, sort of skin tone here. And we need little pink insides to their ears, like that. Like 
Oh, I shouldn't have washed off the pink because I need it for the heart. I want to make that a little bit darker. Pink buttons. Little pink hearts. You can have pink buttons too. Keep it sort of coordinated. But Dad, he'll have to have golden or silver or even copper bronze buttons. We give him like that. That's nearly dry. Um, need something for them to sit on. Doesn't have to be much. You could put some background in if you want. There we are. And uh, shall I risk it? There's lines that can be rubbed out once it's all completely dry. Um, let's pop the lines in for his stripes rather for his jumper. That's about it, really. I'm going to let them dry and see whether there's anything else we need to do. We could probably add lots of bits and pieces, but um, for the minute, well, I suppose, actually, having said that, probably what we want to do is just darken a little bit the outside edges. Oops, we missed one there, didn't we? Outside edges of their feet, because that's quite an important feature. Let's do a little bit of shadow in certain places here and there. And if you think that they need a bit more of a smile, you can just turn the corners of their mouths up a little bit. And last but not least, probably a little bit of pink. So there we are. Four teddy bears would make a nice card for a child or painting to put in a nursery. You can give it your own twist, your own ideas. Thank you, Zen, shaking the camera. And um, yes, I mean, you could. I put an initial on his jumper, didn't I, on the other one? And there's lots of other things that you could do to make it, uh, to make it yours. So there we are. I'll let you go. Have fun with this one. I think you'll enjoy it. Don't forget you can get the sketch to download for free from dianenton.com. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye everybody. See you soon. Bye bye.